안녕하세요. Hello, Kim Sam here, and this is Teacher Kim's Korean class bringing you informative lessons on social media. I'm uploading my video lessons like pronunciation, vocabulary, useful expression, and grammar just like this video. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. You will get massive value from my YouTube channel. We are in a basic grammar curriculum. In this curriculum, I'm teaching 25 essential grammar expressions like particles and ending words, which are very important. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the particle ASO, the meaning of the particle ASO, and how to use it. And I'm gonna be covering the difference between the particle A and ASO, which is one of the most frequent questions I got from Korean learners. Are you ready? The word ESO is known as location particle. Location particle ESO attached to a place noun like 영화관, 학교, 도서관, something like that. We put ESO to a place noun when you want to say something happened in that place. The particle ESO marks a dynamic location that some actions or activities take place. Let's get started from question sentence. Here is a pronoun 어디 which means where and we can attach the particle ESO to the pronoun 어디 어디에서 어디에서 where Okay, look at the picture. Peter 씨는 먹어요 Mr. Peter is eating 어디에서 where Peter 씨는 어디에서 먹어요 Where does Mr. Peter eat? Ah, he's eating in a restaurant. Peter 씨는 식당에서 먹어요. Peter 씨는 식당에서 먹어요. Right? And the particle as are attached not only real place but also virtual place like social media platform. You are watching me now. Kim 선생님을 봐요. Kim 쌤을 봐요. 어디에서? If you are my subscriber, YouTube에서 Kim 쌤을 봐요. Or if you are on Facebook, Facebook에서 Kim 쌤을 봐요. You know, YouTube and Facebook are not real places. They are not physical places. But we can use 에서 with them. YouTube에서, Facebook에서, or Instagram, Instagram에서, or Twitter, Twitter. ESO. And you can put the particle ESO to your imagination or your dream. 저는 BTS를 만나요. 어디에서? Where? 저는 BTS를 꿈에서 매일 만나요. I meet BTS in my dream every day. Dream is not a real place. It is like imagination. But you can use the particle ESO with that. 저는 BTS를 꿈에서 매일 만나요. See you BTS tonight. You may have a question. What is the difference between the particle ESO and the particle A? That's a good question. I have already covered the particle A. If you missed the one, push the link there to learn it. I said the particle A also attached to a place noun. So you may confuse the difference between the particle ESO and A. As I said before, the particle A indicates the place is the direction or destination of the verb. And the particle A also used for explaining the existence in the place. There is something in the place or there is not in the place. Did you remember that? So the place noun with particle A is usually used with the verbs like 가다, 오다, 다니다, 있다, 없다. But when you want to mention that an action or activity takes place, we use the particle ESO. Here's an example. If I want to say, I go to the library and I read a book in the library in Korean. Library is 도서관 in Korean. So I, 저는, go, 가요, to the library, 도서관. And we have to put the particle after 도서관. So which one? 에 or 에서? Yes, 에 is correct. Because the library is the destination, direction of an action of going, 가요. 저는 가요 도서관에, or 저는 도서관에 
가요. The word order is not very important in the Korean language, but for writing, Korean usually finish with the sentence with ending words because it is ending word. So, 저는 도서관에 가요. Korean people think it looks better. In the second sentence, I read a book in the library. I, 저는, read a book. 책을 읽어요. In the library. 도서관. We have to put a particle after 도서관. Which one? 에 or 에서. Is library the destination or direction of an action reading? No. You know, reading doesn't need a destination or direction. The action reading takes place in the library. Right? So we use the particle 에서 rather than the particle 에. 도서관에서. 저는 책을 읽어요. 도서관에서. Or simply change the word order so the sentence ends with the ending word. 저는 도서관에서 책을 읽어요. That looks better for writing. Got it? That is the basic difference between the particle 에서 and 에. Okay? Question of the day. You are now studying Korean with me, right? And I'm just wondering where you are. 여러분은 어디에서 한국어를 공부해요? Where do you study Korean language? You can answer to me like 저는 집에서 한국어를 공부해요. I study Korean at home. Or 저는 학교에서 한국어를 공부해요. I study Korean in the school. Or if you're watching this video in a cafe, 카페에서 한국어를 공부해요. You can just put a place noun with particle 에서. 집에서, 학교에서, 지하철에서, 카페에서, 방에서. Can you answer to me? Leave your answer in the description below. I will see you in the next video. 감사합니다. 안녕!